thank you, Attila, for this really encouraging words from someone who knows what is crisis in reality, not on paper. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me again welcome you to the Ukrainian Investment Forum. This is our fifth forum of Secret Society Ukraine. Probably nobody would guess that we would get this far five years ago. So, the, uh, let me go a little bit one year back. Last year, in 21 November, we had the fourth forum, and probably most of Ukrainians here remember what happened that day. The, uh, then, that time, Ukrainian government decided not to sign an association agreement with the European Union, and that gave the launch to the quite dramatic events in our country. And uh, the name of that forum was Crucial Moment of Choice. And indeed, Ukraine over this year did this choice to break up with the Soviet past and uh, finally sign an association agreement with the European Union and declare openly the, its intention to become the EU member, fully EU member eventually. Uh, of course, such complex goal cannot be achieved only through revolutions and street protests, etc. It requires a very meticulous, very careful uh, work, basically, of each of us, not just the government, not just uh, the NGO organizations, but basically of each uh, citizen. And of course, our association of investment professionals, there are about 100 of us in Ukraine, out of 120,000 of CFA institutes in the world who are stand ready to help Ukrainian authorities in this. Uh, it's obvious that the situation in Ukraine, we shouldn't kid ourselves. It's really complicated and, uh, uh, in fact, Ukraine is making its choice now every day, on a daily basis, quite hard choices. And naturally, that the reaction of every rational investor when it reads the news about Ukraine on BBC or CNN is to basically run for the hills. But we today, at least today at this forum, want to offer not to simplify the situation to, the, to such categories as war or, 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 or the security crisis. And as Attila said, try to find the opportunities and try to find the positive sides. I really quickly tell you how we do that to society, CFA Society Ukraine. Uh, despite such crisis year, we, this year became the uh, most outstanding society of CFA Institute and with the 100 members. Again, despite the crisis, the number of people who are passing the CFA charter holder exams this year is actually increased, not decreased. And uh, our CFA research challenge, that's interesting. Uh, this is the competition for students. Registered this year, I think, 29 universities. And we are number three in the world of countries, of societies with the student participation in the equity research. That tells that the young generation of Ukrainians, they are absolutely open to modern values, to the high professional standards, high education standards that CFA uh, program is offering and CFA society and CFA Institute defense. And finally, let me tell you that our society is completely volunteer based. Uh, basically, about 25 people that organized this event, they are all volunteers and I would like to thank you them. You will see them with the badge organizer. And also let me thank you, without this also, it's probably hardly will be possible, our sponsors. The, uh, Deloitte is the official sponsor, Dentist is legal sponsor. Our media sponsors are Interfax, Novoe Vremia, uh, Fifth Channel, Tizdin, Krinsky Tizdin. And of course, thank you to Fairmont for this beautiful venue that they provided to us today. And our intellectual partner, Vox Ukraine, thanks to them as well. Um, now I have the honor to introduce you our keynote speaker of today. I should quickly tell you that in the past four forums we really had a problem with uh, government officials involving such events. We really had a feeling that this is absolutely unneeded uh, and they are not interested in what we are talking about here. And this year is a complete change. We have the representatives, the top uh, level representatives of the government and our keynote speaker is the governor of the National Bank of Ukraine, Valeria Gontareva. We, uh, Valeria Alexeyevna brings a huge experience of the banker of about 20 years of working mainly in the Western banking institutions. And I think you can hardly find a central banker today in the world who would envy her in her job. So please welcome Valeria Gontareva. <laughs> 